first Comic Con is officially over. The doors closed last night at 7 o'clock. But for the 80,000 or so who attended, the memories will live on forever. Fox 13's Todd Tanner introduces us to a handful of costume comic fans in this week's Uniquely Utah. I've always loved comic books ever since I was a little kid. My dad got me into them, and Harley Quinn's always been my favorite, so I thought I'd dress up as her. Harley Quinn came prepared to deal with the crowds and reporters. <laughs> That's got a little pop to it. She and the Joker enjoyed Salt Lake's first Comic-Con, along with 80,000 or so other attendees. What made you want to come to Comic-Con? All things geeky. I love science fiction and superheroes. Many obviously came in costume. How many people asked to take photos with you this weekend? Oh, I don't know. Every five feet, I was stopping to take pictures. To see and be seen, most will tell you, is part of the fun. You just don't see people dressed like that very often. Dressed like what? As superheroes and superheroines. Were they sexy superheroes? They were sexy, yes. It was spectacular. It was fun. Of course, not everyone in costume can be seen or even see out. How did you get around the crowd as Domo? <laughs> uh, actually, I just kind of walked forward and people got out of the way. Once I start moving, I just go for it. You can't stop. Well, I really can't, and I can't see where I'm going either, so it's really just you got to get out of the way or else bad things are going to happen. But crowds, cumbersome costumes, and even a little rain are no match for the superheroes of Salt Lake City. Todd Tanner, Fox 13 News, Utah.